Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. P R O M O S T K. Shella's Creations Way, where I'm doing a tortilla breakfast egg casserole step by step. So y'all join and check out how I get this done. Oh yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl Shella. P R O M O S T K. Shella's Creations Way. And we're about to start making breakfast. So oh, yeah. We have these pan sausages. If y'all don't know anything about pan sausages, it's all a southern thing. We got our flour tortillas, we got our eggs, and those are the seasonings. And let's see how we put it all together. Okay, you guys, so what we're first gonna do is with this pan sausage, we're actually gonna flatten it out. Oh, the oven just preheated. I got it on 350, you guys. I'm gonna take these pan sausages out of here. Look at that. Mm, I can tell these came from the market, right? So I'm going to take these pan sausages out and I'm going to lay them flat in this pan, put them in the oven and bake them for about 30 minutes until they're done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and it's just like a sausage roll, the sausage rolls you see in the grocery store. I'm just going to take and just pull it apart and just put them in crumbles because what I'm going to do after this bakes up in the oven, I'm going to take and make an egg, breakfast egg casserole. And all these chunks of meat, this good old sausage pan sausage is going to be in that breakfast roll. You guys, it's going to be such meaty pork deliciousness, okay? Yes, pork. These pan sausages are pork. So I'm just going to break them up like so. As y'all see what I'm doing here in the pan. The oven has already notified me that it was preheated. Now you can take this also and scramble it on the stove, but I find it better to just put it in the oven and let it cook evenly in the oven. All right, so there we go. There, that's what it looks like, y'all. All right, so we'll see you back. As soon as I get them out of the oven again, 30 minutes in the oven. All right, you guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our eggs and go ahead and get those eggs started while we got our pan sausages in the oven. So we're just going to crack them. That's one, two, three, All right, so we have 21 eggs here, 21. No, we're not doing the Dirty Dozen Challenge because we've already done that. But the egg that I made on the Dirty Dozen Challenge is what I'm doing right here, you guys. And this is going to be five kids and two adults versus feeding two people. <laughs> so... Let me add all my seasonings in here. And as y'all see, we got black pepper first on the list. Okay, that black pepper in there. That was black pepper. Next, we're gonna put some onion powder. Then 
then we're gonna put some soul food seasoning, you know, because we don't do salt. Okay. And then we're gonna put our chopped chives. I love chopped chives, y'all. Some parsley flakes. And that's pretty much just for color. We're gonna throw some red pepper flakes in here for a little, a little heat. Maybe a tablespoonful or a teaspoonful. And then last but not least, some chicken soup base. Cause after all, eggs are chicken, right? <laughs> All right, so we got all that in there, and then we're just gonna do a mixy mix. And after we do this mixy mix, we're gonna add about a half a cup of milk. And the milk helps make it fluffy. And then we're gonna break up a half a stick of butter in this. Half a stick of butter. So let's get that now. Okay. So let's pour our milk. You can do whole milk. You can do almond milk. All right. Let's our half cup of milk in there. And then let's get our butter cut up. Dices. Like so. There we go. Yes. And I do have a recipe online on my YouTube channel on my very own Shell Creations way where I show you guys how I did the eggs for our dirty dozen challenge so you guys feel free to go to that one or you can stay at this one i uh, will be doing this one just a slightly little different but we're going to go ahead and mix all this up and when the pan sausages come out we will utilize that whatever uh, meat liquor is rendered from that pan sausage because we're gonna pour this egg mixture on top of that. And we will line it with, guess what? Flour tortilla. So stay tuned and let's get this party started. Oh yeah. P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shell's Creations Way. And you'll see this eating at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighbor. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. So I just got my pan sausages out of the oven. Let me show you what it's looking like. See that? And you see the, the oil that is rendered right there? So we're going we're gonna to use that. We're going to use that in our eggs. So let me get my... Okay, so I'm just going to take and just move these around in the pan, like so. All right, so what we're going to do in this pan right here is we're going to put uh, lightly grease it. We're going to lightly grease it, about a tablespoon of cooking oil. And then I have a napkin here that I'm going to take and just smear everything in here. So any excess oil in here that I don't want on this pan is going to be in the napkin. 
Or you can use a coffee filter. I've used coffee filters before too. All right, so that's, that's lightly greased. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We have our cutting board. We have our knife right here. Now we need our flour tortillas. And this is what we're gonna do with our flour tortillas. Again, this is Philip Creations way. All right. So I have about one, two, three, four. Four of these. I'm gonna try and come the long way like this, like in little strips. Hope y'all see that. Yeah, y'all see it. Okay. And little strips. Probably about inch strips would be fine. Less than two inches. Definitely less than two inch strips. get these corner ones right here. Y'all yeah, notice I do a lot of cooking with these tortillas. All right, so this is what we're gonna do with these. Let's put those over there. Oh, let me just show you the strips. See those strips? All right, so now we're gonna line our grease pan with some tortilla or burrito straps. So we got a border, almost like lining the pan. Y'all see how I have that done? Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a layer of our eggs in here. And let's re remix it back up again because they've been sitting here waiting on, the, waiting on the pan sausages. All right. Here, and we're gonna take and pour our egg mixture. First layer, we're gonna put a couple of these pan sausages in there. Top of that, probably about half of the pan sausages. Okay, that looks good. All right, we wanna make sure that there's a meat bite in every piece that we put in there. Now we're gonna to top this with Guess what? Yeah, our strips again. Oh, but before we do that, before we do that, we're gonna add some cheese. Yeah, we're gonna add some cheese. And I meant to take the cheese out before Four, but I didn't want the cheese to get soft, too soft, so I'm going to add the cheese, my first layer of cheese, so don't forget this step, so about a half a cup to a cup of cheese, all depends on how much you want on that first layer, okay, now we put our tortilla on top of that. Now we're gonna put our last layer of eggs on top of that. 
This is a little different than the recipe I did with the um, the, the rest with the eggs that I did with the dirty dozen. So this is a little different. Like I say, every time I cook, I'm, it's something different because my mind is always in the create mode on how I can do this or what I need to do with that. So we're gonna put the last bit of that in there, like so. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got that last layer of egg. You see how that's flowing? All right, now we're gonna put the last bit of the pan sausages on top of that. Hmm. Last of the pan sausages, and then we're gonna put the last bit of that tortilla, and then we're gonna top that with Now we're gonna um, put the last bit of the tortilla shell on top of this, okay? And then we're gonna top it with cheese. So the cheese is gonna be the last thing you see on top, okay? Place the little strips, all these little extra strips on here. And there we are. Voila. Now I'm going to take a picture of that after I add the cheese on there so y'all see what the finished product looks like. Just move this stuff out of the way. All right, this is what it looks like here. Now we're gonna add, <clears throat> oh, now we're gonna just put a little bit of the meat droppings in here. I promise y'all we were gonna put the meat droppings, so guess what? We're putting this good old meat droppings in here. Normally I put bacon grease in here, but because we're using this pan sausage meat, we're gonna put that good old goodness in there. So y'all see that? Mmm. Mm. Now we're gonna top that with cheese. is covered. Oh yeah, make sure everything is covered. And we're going to bake this in the oven for an hour, you guys, a whole hour at 350. So just be prepared to leave this in the oven a whole hour on 350. the cheese is all bubbly on top. You can put whatever cheese you want to put on here. I like this Fiesta blend cheese. You can put mozzarella on there. But this is going to be awesome. All right, so again, no cover on here. No cover. We're going to put this in the microwave just like this. All right? It's heavy. That's what it's looking like. All right, see you guys when it's out of the oven. All right, you guys, I'm just pulling it out of the oven, but what I did, I put about a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese on top, and we're gonna pull it out of the oven. So here it is, breakfast casserole. Look at that, look at that cheesy goodness. We got the Thayessa cheese that's 
browns up good in there and then that white mozzarella cheese on top let's cut it open and see what we got all right you guys so we're gonna cut this open mm. and remember we're gonna get all sausage meat in there just go across here this goodness. And here it is. Look at that. Mm. Let's get it in a plate. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get it in this plate. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Do you see that goodness? And this is Shola's Creations. Egg casserole. And you will see us eat this on the table of P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Eating good in the neighborhood. Oh.